Hello friends, James Stevenson and Loki back with part 24 of our Tesla 2022 Q4 video review series. Uh, we're going to talk about deliveries and deliveries detail today. So I've got Loki cuddling with me here. Maybe I'll try and lower. Ah, and as soon as I do that, he wants to get up. All right. So I'll go to the uh, Loki's bed cam so you can see him hop into bed again. He was cuddling and then he got up. All right. So uh, back we go to share desktop. Look at that. Uh, this is going to be really, really old news <laughs> by the time this video plays. All right, let me bring up the, uh, uh, the earnings. So uh, it'll be really, really old news for you unless you follow me on Patreon, in which case you're, you're seeing it today because uh, I upload uh, all of my videos in advance. I can only record on the weekends on mornings. So that's when I record videos. And then on the same day that I upload them, I post them to Patreon. So my Patreon supporters get early access to all of these videos that you're watching before they are published to the public. I have to do it that way because YouTube uh, has an algorithm that punishes you for publishing more than one video per day or at a time. Uh, so I need to space out the videos, one public release per day, uh, so that people can see them. Because if I post a lot of videos publicly, uh, YouTube will just pick one of them, whichever one is uploaded most recently, and promote that one and not the others. So that's the story there, and one of the benefits that you get if you support me on Patreon. All right, uh, so here's what I have forecast for 2022 Q4 for total Tesla deliveries by site and model. Uh, so for the Fremont Model S, I have a little bit more uh, Tesla Model S deliveries than we saw in Q3. Now, how did I get these two numbers separately for Q3? Because Tesla doesn't report at this level of detail. I have to guess. That's the answer. I have to guess at what the distribution was between these two. So I'm guessing uh, that the total sum, 18,672, uh, was broken down like this, with uh, Model X uh, deliveries ramping up some as the quarters go by, and Model S being more stable. So that's my breakdown for these two for Q4, and what I expect is a combined 20,825 deliveries. That's the only number we'll get uh, confirmation on, is the combined number of S and X globally. Then for Model 3 and Y, I've got the breakdown by site and by model here. Uh, Tesla is just going to report the total number of Model 3s and Ys combined globally. I sure wish they would break that number down more, but they don't, and we don't always get what we wish for, and that's okay. But uh, for Fremont Model 3s, I'm forecasting fewer of them being delivered. And for Fremont Model Ys, I'm forecasting fewer of them being delivered as Tesla unwinds the wave. More of the vehicles they produce will end up in ending inventory. Uh, also, Tesla's going to deliver less in the U.S. Uh, due to the timing of that Inflation Reduction Act benefit not picking up until January. So you'll see higher delivery totals in January, and uh, the rest of the quarters in 2023 is what I'm forecasting. So that's how you get to the total Fremont deliveries being down uh, sequentially, uh, right before they pop up to all-time record highs uh, in Q1 of next year. And they should uh, be higher uh, every quarter next year than they've ever been in the past. So that's a good thing. Then for Shanghai uh, Model 3s, a bunch of them didn't get delivered in Q3 of 2022, uh, and the line was down for a few weeks for tooling uh, in China. So you've got big steps up here for uh, Shanghai Model 3 and Model Y. We know the numbers we've seen getting sold in China and being exported from China so far this quarter are all-time records, very high numbers, 
don't believe the FUD you've seen about there being a demand problem in China. If you read the CPCA data, it does not uh, confirm that. It does the opposite. Okay, so Shanghai delivery is up. And then, of course, uh, Berlin will be higher uh, than it was previously. So up from 15 to 29, uh, if they were averaging 3,000 per week over 13 weeks, that would be 39,000. So I have them averaging less than 3,000 over the course of the quarter, even though we know they've had at least one 3,000 uh, uh, production uh, week uh, so far this quarter. Then for Texas Model Y, I have them a little lower. They're a little farther behind on the curve, but I have them catching up. Uh, so these two should be ramping up more or less in tandem uh, throughout 2023. Uh, from 30,000 to 45,000, 60,000, 75,000, 90,000 ish. Something like that is what I've got in my forecast. So that's how you get to. Oh, yeah, and then I have eight semi deliveries. So we know that number's low because the news out of Tasmanian was that 34 Tesla semis have been delivered already. So in my next forecast, I'm really going to need to increase my Tesla semi deliveries forecast, at least for these first couple of quarters. If they can deliver 34 in Q4, they're probably going to deliver a lot more than 63 in Q1 or 127 in Q2. And I'll, I'll increase these as well. So that's how you get to my total deliveries of 420.069. Wouldn't it be funny if that's the number that gets reported? It could be. I don't think I'm way, way off. We'll find out on January 2nd. And that is my video. So uh, let's check back in with Loki where he is napping again. He was up and active for a bit, and now he's back to his cat nap. And I will outro and say if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, why not go ahead and subscribe to my channel over here. And click the notification bell to get alerted when I post fresh content. And uh, if you'd like to support me, you can do that by just clicking the like button or leaving a comment saying, add a boy. That works. Um, or you, my recommended way of supporting me is through Patreon. As I mentioned earlier, you get a lot of benefits that way where you can join my YouTube channel. Uh, special thank you to my two executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Halter Ferguson Financial, who did join my YouTube channel at the highest support tier, earning them executive producer credits at the end of every video. And I'll see you in the next one.